Minibong and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related and today on my channel we're going to be taking a look at issue 28 of the new Transformers IDW continuity this is where it's split off into two we already know that it's split off after Rise of the Decepticons into War World and Escape I am covering both of these on my channel uh, so if you want to take a look at the previous issues you can find the link here and uh, it will take you all the way up to issue 28 and then also you'll find the issues for escape which is a five piece section uh, as well on the channel so we'll start by looking at this awesome cover art for War World issue 28 and you have Starscream whispering sweet nothings into Megatron's ear absolutely awesome loving the artwork I think this is probably the 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 cover that most people can get hold of so this is the kind of general release cover as well but I do think from this one it is the best little Cyclonus there in the corner as well which is pretty cool on the back we have this kind of line drawing of Cybertron I really like this escape has the similar one but with the ships leaving and I really like this uh, kind of line drawing here of Cybertron on the back we have war world hunt other for escape which is just nice there and then on the other ones I think we have the other covers that we could have got this one looks okay this cover but it's not as interesting here uh, as the one that i actually got i don't really like the way cyclonus is drawn on the cover art here uh beast wars we have an advert here for the 25th century for beast wars 25th year anniversary and on the inside again we have a, a little bit of an odd drawing of cyclonus this cover uh here and then we have the cover that i actually ended up getting so the main characters in this one will be Bumblebee, Megatron. You've got your six shot, your Soundwave, your Andromeda, your Cyclonus, Mindwipe, and Swindle. Uh, so <laughs> this one kicks off with, oh dear, running for his life as always, and then oh no, why is it always Cliff Jumper? Why is it always Cliff Jumper? And then we see Cliff Jumper has been destroyed. And we just see some hands looking at each other. And we see her again. Turning the page, we see a lone Decepticon guarding a massive Decepticon door. And Cyclonus approaches. Now, who's this? Is this, and people in the comments, please let me know if I'm wrong here. Is this their take on Crasher from GoBots? Is that who this is? Is this now? Because to me, this very much looks like Crasher from GoBots, especially the, the toy of Crasher, which had a very, very similar head sculpt. Uh, and I know IDW have used uh, GoBots before in previous issues. Um, so let me know in the comments, is this a, a, a con that I'm not aware of? But to me, this definitely looks like Crasher. So I'm going to call it Crasher. So Crasher and Cyclonus have a conversation. Cyclonus is currently looking for Six Shot because Six Shot is supposed to arrive because Six Shot is supposed to be um, replacing Skytread as the leader of the Decepticon Seekers and the, the Decepticon Army side. Here. And we can see that, of course... This dude gets killed, as GoBots tend to do, and Cyclonus marches in with the ghost of fallen cons echoing in his head. We then see Megatron kind of taking counsel, really, from all of these other cons. So we have uh, Soundwave, Ratbat, Tankor, looks like Mindwipe here as well, and of course Senator Ratbat, as we have in this one. And they're interrupted by some Autobots, so we can see. This is their take on Grapple. Uh, looks a little bit weird, but that is their take on Grapple. Their Grapple is called a Builder, and he says, I'm an architect, Ratbat. Similar to one of the G1 lines, right? I'm an architect. Uh, and then they have a little bit of a, a conversation uh, about basically they've come to Oak to get Ratbat because Ratbat was 
pivotal in overthrowing the Senate. And of course, he has a load of cons that will defend him, so the battle starts. But Grapple does use his grapple to slam him against the wall. At the same time, Blaster is in the communications tower, and he's trying to stop the Titans from crashing into Cybertron. Uh, and then... Steeljaw turns around to attack, and this is not Ravage, this is actually Sparkstalker, and we can see here that Sparkstalker has the eye that's actually turned into a little laser gun, and then we can see at the bottom here, we can see all of these cons gearing up for a fight with Basta and Steeljaw and the rest of the tapes. Moving back to the outside of the building there, um, Nautila is speaking to Skytread about that Skytread is about to get replaced as the leader of the Con Guards, uh, and he tells Nautila to shut up. Basically, why are they here? They're here to break out Swindle from Autobot Prison. So you can see another grapple is inserted, and the, wind, the wall is boom exploded which gives swindle the time and the opportunity to get the hell out swindle then takes multiple bots with him on his journey and this includes a bumblebee with a con logo at the moment so he takes bumblebee with him and you can see that he has a few other bots with him as they escape from autobot prison on the next page we then see vibes talking with one of the bots that makes up Reflector. And it looks like they're passing messages from cons to Autobots. And then further down we see maybe the same Reflector or a different part of Reflector talking to Starscream who has been being kind of fixed up after some troubles. And then he's actually been talking to Megatron as well. Then comes the big fight. And the big fight is between Cyclonus and Six Sharp. Cyclonus looking for Six Shot, wanting to take Six Shot down. So he moves towards him, saying the name of all of these fallen cons that he holds Six Shot responsible for, and they start to fight. We can see that he gets his swords out, his guns out, he turns into the flying wolf type. Thing, and then as he goes past, he turns into the tank, and Cyclonus gets his swords out and really starts to pull it right down the side of the tank. But Six Shot says that he doesn't have what it takes to finish the job. But Pyra Magna has now been released. Now Cyclonus holds Pyra Magna responsible for somebody else dying, and that's Paragon. So because Pyromagna killed Paragon, uh, Cyclonus believes that by killing Pyromagna, maybe all of these dead people that keep speaking to him will stop. So he takes Six Shot up on the offer, and he's kind of pointed in Pyromagna's direction and sent to hunt Pyromagna down. After escaping the Autobot prison, they go right underneath a Skitter racing track, which is where Swindle has his secret base, where you can see that he is keeping certain bots in like an artificial matrix-like state, uh, and one of these is Death Saurus. So Death Saurus and Death Saurus is in this state, and Death Saurus is the person who we saw at the beginning attacking cliff jumper over and over and over again so we hear that death saurus is here uh and that death saurus has been missing for killer cycles so we know that saurus is in here i wonder who else all these pods will contain which will be new bots that we will see during this storyline great ending nice transformation for death saurus there as well and we can see in the next issue we can see people like ultra magnus tankor and people like that so pretty interesting little issue here so this is a really cool issue i really enjoyed it um i like where this storyline is going i'm fairly new to these issues uh, i've only been picking it up since escape and war world started so i'm learning a little bit more every time i do this hopefully you are as well and i'll see you in my next video all right guys in a bit peace